Week 2 of the FRC Regionals did not disappoint. While there were still plenty of one-seated alliances in the mix, these events gave us plenty to talk about. So let's get right into it. A familiar face captaining the number one seed with Spam and Ogre against Breakaway, Ninjaneers, and Stealth Tigers. The Children of the Swamp wanted the back-to-back -back week wins, while the three seed just wanted to pull off an upset since week one was nothing but one seed sweeping the regionals. 7072 had some drivetrain issues in this one, but 179 and 180 held down the scoring. This one was wire to wire as 2383 put up some shots and auto that had a bit too much oomph and the human player shot had an unlucky bounce. 179 and 180 looked to get the double traversal but instead got a visit from the letter F. Letter F. Even after software problems and hardware problems, the Red Alliance still came out on top. The two seed of Sty Pulse, Ranger Robotics, and Electric Fire made their way to the finals dragging a yellow card, already on thin ice. They matched up against the one seed of Flying Circuits, Gurr, and Cougar Tech, who subbed in for r -Cubed. Match 1 had both these alliances going shot for shot, climb for climb, with one 4 point blue penalty giving the victory for Red. The second match looked exactly the same and Blue looked to force a tiebreaker. Solid shots and fantastic climbing could do it. It actually looked like we would need a third match. However, comma. After the match, the refs convened next to 340's bot, who earlier in the match took a hard hit from 3015. The refs were talking. And talking. And breaking out the rule book. Never a good sign. The ref took out a yellow card and hit the blue alliance with it for disabling the red robot. That yellow card compounded with the previous yellow card and resulted in a disqualification for the match. After all these matches and so many hard fought battles, the 2022 Finger Lakes Regional ends on a red card. I've been on both sides of controversial endings, and it's quite possibly the toughest way to lose. The city of Anderson, South Carolina earned the nickname Electric City in 1895 after becoming one of the first southeastern US cities to get electricity. I'm bringing this up because I wanted this regional to be called the Electric Avenue Regional so I could make a bunch of Eddie Grant references, but oh well. This regional had the makings of something spectacular, because if Blair's there, the hype's there. One seeded Cyber Tribe against the two seeded Team Fusion. Red took the first match, but Blue wanted that tiebreaker. 30 to 26 coming out of auto as both sides absolutely attacked the high hub. An 8 point game for Blue going into endgame as Robot's Garage found the traversal. We need a third match. The first of the year. Autonomous of Game 3 had both sides putting up last second shots. 1293 had some connection issues, but they came back to life to defend Blue. Just the 7 point lead for Blue going into endgame as both sides get a bot on top. The penalty points made this a little anticlimactic as it would have been a 1 point victory for Red but this event was thrilling nonetheless. Oh, and 1293, congrats on hell freezing over. Go ahead and rock on down to Worlds. Stop me if you heard this one before. One seated Red Alliance versus two seated Blue Alliance in a match that would allow Red to sweep the finals. Seems to be the MO for the first couple of weeks, but I bet you never seen camera work like this for an event. Even more impressive was the deluge of red cargo in auto. Blue had no answers for the top seeded alliance in this one, as they had shots go too high and some that bounced out. Even with the double hang for Blue, Red had too big of a lead to overcome, so the bot busters put the cherry on top with that swift last second traversal. 
Up a Creek Robotics and Team Scream teamed up against the Cyborg Cats and the Highlanders. It's another 1v2, but this is closer than most. In fact, after some unlucky bounces on red side, Blue came out of auto with the early lead. However, with some rapid shots and some misses for Blue, the Red Alliance got the lead going into endgame. Blue got all their robots off the ground, but so did Red. The key difference being that double traversal, allowing the Red Alliance to squeak by with the 11 point victory. Team Taters and Eagle Strike in Red against Bear Botics and Rapticon in Blue. It was a frenzy in Autonomous, with a 16-16 tie going into Teleop. Red took the high road and Blue took the low road. Bold strategy, but those few points difference gave Red all the space they needed. Pretty evened up going into the last 30 seconds, with Blue getting the double mid climb and Team Tater securing the traversal for Red. Quick side note, the designs for the climbers this year have been very impressive, but there's just something about Team Tater's club that looks oddly human. I think it's the whole pinchy thing. It looks alive. A close match from the start to finish, but Red came away with the win. Code Orange and the High Rollers in Red against the Angel Bots and Mew Botics in Blue. Despite being the one-seated alliance, Red was getting buried under blue cargo. Sure, Code Orange could drain those shots from farther out than blue, but Angel Botics could get them in faster. Troy Robotics showed that slow and steady wins the traversal with their oh-so-careful climb. 1339 gave chase and hit the smooth criminal lean but kept all of their wheels on the ground. Blue had the lead in the waning seconds, but that's nothing a buzzer beating hang can't fix. With this victory, 987 picks up their 19th regional win, and 3952 picks up their first. Congrats, and good luck in Houston. Some more familiar faces back at it. Point, point, huey, 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 anemone, anemone. Still don't know how to pronounce that. Rivals from last week, Hawaiian Kids and High Tide, partnered up as the one seed alliance against the two seed alliance of Spartatronics and Presentation Invasion. This was a very defensive battle, with Red playing some shutdown D coming out of Autonomous. Red kept making those shots, and Blue had no answers for them on offense or defense. Blue got the traversal, but Red got the double high in a 63-37 win. Barker Redbacks, Rimble Pride, and Artemis in Red against the Drop Bears, IC Robotics, and the St. Cathodes in Blue. Fancy shooting autos on both sides, but Blue came out with the early lead. Red got the lead in Teleob after 55-83 stalled out, making it a 3 on 2. Red quenched whatever hope the Blue Alliance had of forcing a tiebreaker with the double traversal. I don't even know if this last shot went in because even the camera crew knew this match was a foregone conclusion. The 82-55 win and the regional goes to the Red Alliance. The New York Tech Valley Regional saw the two-seated alliance of Mountaineer Area Robotics and Wolfpack square off against the top-seated alliance of Falcons and Ranger Robotics. Th wait, 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 3015? We just saw you earlier in this video. Y'all double dipped? I didn't even know that was possible. How did you find time to sleep? Anyway. Both these alliances had insane autos and Blue's human player almost made it in, but instead were tied at 20 going into Teleop. Defense went and took the early flight home, so it would really just come down to who could get higher in endgame. Red got all three up, but Blue got the double traversal to force a tiebreaker by the thinnest of margins. Finally getting some good tiebreakers in the finals. 
Otto for match three had everything coming up red. Both sides wanted it and weren't giving an inch to the other side. Once again, it came down to the hanging. Steelhawks and Wolfpack got the last second double traversal while the Red Alliance... Well then, the traversal bar, as it turns out, makes a huge difference. As in, it turned this match from a close win to a blowout in the last three seconds. 3015 earned the Engineering Inspiration Award at Finger Lakes and Chairman's at Tech Valley. Otherwise, these would be two absolutely brutal losses in the same week. And of course, the only way this insane week could end, an alliance that wasn't the number one seed finally won a regional. I'll see you next week for even more insane events. Until then, get some rest, take care, and remember. Gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. Blue Alliance 1891, the Bullbots. Looks like they moved over to the hangar. 30 seconds remaining. Trying to get up to that traversal bar. That's 15 additional points. Oh, they fell down. 